Some things just go together, like Bonnie and Clyde, Sonny and Sher, Porsche and a racetrack. The sad thing is, in South Africa, we seldom, well actually we never get to track test a Porsche. But because this is the 911 GTS International launch, this isn't Porsche South Africa's cars. So we are at Kalani to track test the GTS. The Carrera GTS is the most powerful, most focused 911 this side of the awe-inspiring turbo. As such, it boasts 21 kilowatts more than the standard Carrera, a wider rear track, standard limited slip differential, and of course, a sport exhaust system. Now listen, but the minute I slip behind the wheel of a Porsche, I always do get a grin on my face. But when you're feeding out onto a racetrack instead of a highway, you get this, <laughs> you know, that really silly grin. This is a rare treat to have a Porsche 911 GTS around Kilani. What's even more special is uh, in front of me, a man who knows a thing or two about driving a Porsche really quick around the track, Mark Lee, racing the Porsche Endurance team. They've asked me nicely, Morris, please. He doesn't know the track, just don't overtake him. So uh, I'm going to try my damn best. Oh, this is fun. Now, one thing that is guaranteed with the GTS is that it celebrates the sporty nature and spirit of Porsche. So as far as standard 911s go, this is the sportiest you're going to get. And you know what? <laughs> the fact that you get in and it's standard is a seven-speed manual gearbox. You realize they mean business with this car. It is awesome. Obviously, it's more powerful. Like the other 911s, it is running with the three-liter twin-turbo V6 as standard, but it is more powerful. You've got 20 kilowatts more and 50 newton meters more for you to explore your ability and limits as a racing driver. And that, for me, is what I'm busy doing. Mark is getting it on, and so am I. This is flipping awesome. The car runs with the Carrera 4 wide body, so it's got a wider track, which makes it obviously incredibly stable and helps the cornering as well. But more importantly, it also sits lower to the ground. So you really know that this is about performance in this Porsche. It is great. I'm now going to shut up and drive. Actually, no, I'm not. What I want to tell you about is the Ford Performance app that he's sitting running in this car. So I can get all my telemetry after this to see exactly how I'm doing around this track. That for me is awesome. Now I'm going to concentrate and you enjoy the drive. That is the big secret with Porsche. That's what's made it so flippin' amazing, is that they are able to produce a car that is just so precise, so track oriented, so focused, yet I can get in it and drive to work. And everyone else has been following them, trying to compete, trying to make a car that is as performance oriented but as user friendly to drive. Porsche, oh man, you are still something special. Even though you're now running with turbo induction as standard across the line, it is just unbelievable. The 911 has always been an engineering feat, but I tell you what is more impressive is our Porsche have managed to engineer 19 derivatives of the 911. I mean, take this, the GTS alone, there are five options. You can take the convertible in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, the coupe, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, and then this, the one that we've chosen because I've never driven one before, is the 911 Targa GTS. In GTS trim, the Targa comes with a blacked out central roll bar, although the owner may also specify the standard brushed metal finish. While it makes for an amusing party trick, the intricate folding mechanisms required to make the rear windscreen disappear, not to mention the enormous window itself, add a hefty 63 kilograms to the coupe's curb weight. Inside, things are far less compromised. The driving position, visibility and ergonomics are all spot on. Clever interior packaging has always been a Porsche hallmark and you need only jump from a McLaren 570S into a 911 to understand what all the fuss is about. The only false note is struck by the fussy center console with its scattered buttons. The target that we in sits with the optional extra, the seven speed PDK. And I can guarantee you that 99% of GTS is sold are going to be sold with the PDK system. As far as double clutches go, <laughs> it is the best in the business. But I like that Porsche have stuck to their guns. If you want to change from the sport spirit that is GTS, you've got to pay extra for that. We've got our top down, but let me tell you, 
wind buffeting and wind noise is insane. Obviously, with this beam that was brought in, I don't know, in the 60s from a safety perspective, the wind really creates a vacuum and a vortex around that. So it's actually, for me, a lot noisier than a convertible. I thought we'd kind of uh, find that happy medium between uh, torsional rigidity and a bit of open top driving. At low speeds, it actually sounds like your park distance control is beeping. So, yes, you're going to look super cool cruising around Camps Bay. But out on the open road, it is flipping noisy. So I guess it's coupe for me and not a bad thing because obviously with that transformer-like roof mechanism, it does weigh the most out of any of the GTSs. But what a fantastic driving car. It really is. I mean, now that we're off the racetrack and just cruising on the roads, it is still so engaging to drive. And my little Dahlia on the steering, putting it into Sport and Sport Plus, visibly changes the personality of your GTS. It's a great car. Helping Porsche shape its enviable racing pedigree is a long list of equally legendary drivers. Among them, a former DTM champion and Le Mans winner. Now, it's not very often that I'm actually comfortable sitting in the passenger seat, <laughs> but when it's Hans Stuck, it's taking me around Kilani. Oh, I don't mind, Hans. This is a real, a real pleasure. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, you know. I mean, being here in the Porsche, it's uh, already Christmas Day again, you know. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely. Uh, to me, you, you know everything there is to know about taking a Porsche around a track really quickly. Yes. But after all your years' experience, how do you sum up how Porsche gets it right? What makes a Porsche so special? I think the main the main thing is that the 911 always kept its DNA, you know. It's a car you sit in, it gives you right away some real good confidence. Yeah. The car is not driving you, you are driving the car, you know. Yeah. And I think this is the, the, the material that gives you confidence and you are encouraged to do more and try more because you have a great steering response, you know. With the acceleration out of the corner, with the rear engine, it feels always stable, you know. And that's very good. We have good brakes, you know, precise gearbox. Are you disappointed that, you know, the turbo era has come to all Porsches now? Were you thinking, ah, oh, it's going to lose that unique no. personality or do you think it's a good move? I think it's a good move because it, it combines a couple of things, you know. If you cruise normally, you go on a decent fuel consumption. And if you want the power, if you go on the track or want to overtake, you put the pedal down, you hardly feel the turbo comes in, you know, there's no more turbo lag. And then you have the power. And I think it's a great combination. Favorite Porsche you've ever raced? Uh, clear, the 962. You know? <laughs> the combination of horsepower, downforce, you know, uh, reliability, it was just the, the greatest car of my career, you know. And if you had to pick a, a Porsche to take home every day, something you could live with, I mean, there's so many models to choose from now. What would be your pick? Uh, you know, I live in the mountains in Austria, yeah. and I have a dog, so I am allowed to uh, drive a day car, a Cayenne diesel, 4.2 liter. Yeah. And this is the car good for everything, you know. You go fast, you know, if sometimes a faster Porsche passes me on the motorway, I pass him back when he's fueling up, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, it's just a great car, you know? but it's incredible. I mean, you you've raced at Kilani. Yeah, good old school track. Favorite corner? Uh, the fast ones. The yeah. fast double right hand in the back. The car yeah. is called Jaguar, you know. Yeah, the late apex. Yes, yeah. I think this is the one that separates the boys from the girls. You totally, know? absolutely. And what I like is there are not these huge paved runoff areas. If you go off here, you stick your you stick your car in the gravel bed or you yeah. hit the wall. And it requires a higher skill of driving, you know. I and mean, then you have to calculate the risk much more, you know. Now we just need to get you to uh, the new car lot. I would love to. I'm looking forward to go then. When I started working in television some 18 years ago on Mnet, the question I got asked all the time, what is Candice Hillebrand like? <laughs> now that I review cars, what question do people ask me? If money wasn't an option, what car would Marius Roberts buy? It's always been this. Porsche. Let me tell you why. I like subtle styling, not in your face. Unbelievable, sublime performance, yet an ability to live with every single day. That is what has always made a Porsche so good. And on a day like today, we've really experienced that. Racing around Kilani, pushing the car to the max, and then cruising around the beautiful city of Cape Town. That sums up Porsche. Just perfect.